We are currently stood outside of AMC Lowe's on 3rd Avenue. 86th Street. We are looking for contestants to join in on a movie trivia quiz show that we like to call... Ross and Sophie's Untitled Quiz Show. To paint a picture, there is absolutely no one around us right now. We are the only people in the street. No one is coming out of the movie theater. Should we ask this guy in the Superman shirt? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's ask the guy in the Superman shirt. Okay, Ross, do your thing. Okay, ready. Okay, come with me. Come with me. Excuse me, sir. Would you like to take part in a movie trivia contest and win $5 off your next movie ticket? Are you sure? Okay. Thanks, Superman. He said no. Okay. He didn't want to join in at all. Ooh, that kind of hurt. It was our first, that was, that was our first contestant. First not time into we, it. we approached somebody and they said no. Okay. Excuse me. Would you like to take part in a movie trivia contest? Win $5? <laughs> okay. Nobody wants to play. Shot through the heart. Yeah. They're all to blame. <laughs> <laughs> Can I just quote that some woman walking into a movie theater just said, is this a movie theater? <laughs> <laughs> There's no one around. No one. There's no one. Christopher no one. Christopher no one. Christopher no one is around right now. How's your movie trivia knowledge? Is it good? You want to win $5? Not that great, but go ahead. So it's five rounds, five questions. You have one chance and one lifeline. You can ask someone on the street if you don't know the question, okay? So the first round is true or false. We give you a movie statement. You just tell us if it's true or false. Simple. Tarantino wanted Denzel Washington to play the role of Django in Django Unchained, but he declined. True or false? Uh, that's true. That's true? What do you Final think? Answer? True. Uh, unfortunately, it's incorrect. It was actually Will Smith. Oh my god, you knew it! Yeah, I just remembered. Go with your gut, go with your gut. That's your one life gone. All right. Remember, you can ask someone on the thing if you don't know. The second round is multiple choice. We give you a question. Obviously, there's three answers. You tell us which one it is. Which famous name is Nicholas Kim Coppola better known as? A, Sofia Coppola, B, Nick Nolte, or C, Nick Cage? Nick Cage. Nick Cage, is that your final answer? Yes. That's correct. Question so three. this third round is a little bit more tricky. It's called Synonym Cinema. So basically, we took, we took a famous movie title and each word we replaced with a synonym for that word. So for example, if I were to say, an insect's existence, the answer would be a bug's life. So, Sophie, back to you. Okay, so this one is called Furious Taurus, and it's from 1980. Furious Taurus. Uh, Furious 5? Final guess? Uh, I don't know. Uh, that's from 1980, so it can't be right. Oh, Raging Bull. Boom! Wow. Oh, wow, that that's amazing. Go. You got it. Yes, that was Raging Bull. <laughs> so, on to round four. Yes, on to round four. So this, for this round, gets a little bit trickier. Basically, we'll combine the plot lines of two movies that share either a word or a sound in their title. You need to tell us the combined title. So, for example, if I said to you, George Clooney and his sidekick must stop Mr. Freeze from freezing Gotham City while a Sherwood Forest vigilante steals from the rich and gives to the poor, you would say? Uh, Batman and Robin Hood. Exactly, so they share the word Robin, so that's what this one's about. There you go. So, Inigo Montoya seeks out the six-fingered man to avenge his dead father, and during the week of Lillian's wedding, Kristen Wiig, Kristen Wiig struggles with being replaced as the best friend and maid of honor. You know either one, isn't it? Six-fingered man? Fingered man, uh, that sounds familiar. Made of honor. Um, we have to give you 30 seconds to figure Yeah, I'm sorry. No, it's okay. Don't worry, it's, it's just fun. Okay. I made of honor. Who was in that? Uh, Remember, we, we can ask someone on the streets if you want to. Yes, you can ask someone on the street. That's your one life. They, they probably Jason won't know. <laughs> I don't think she knows. <laughs> she wasn't into it. Movie trivia, movie trivia. Do you want to be a lifeline? Only movies. Okay. I think you might know. You want to try? Okay. Okay. So for this one, it's Inigo Montoya seeks out the six-fingered man to avenge his dead father. And during the week of Lillian's wedding, Kristen Wiig struggles with being replaced as the best friend and maid of honor. I know the first one is Princess Bride. Okay. Uh, oh, and Bridesmaids? Put it together. 
what I say was Moot Princess. And what was the first film you said? Princess Bride. Now what's the second film? Bridesmaids. So Princess Bridesmaids. Woo! Woo! You got a good okay. lifeline. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. <laughs> so you got it because your okay. lifeline nailed it. All right, very good. So now <laughs> for the final round. It gets harder, I'll bet you. This is this is the last round. This is the winning round. Okay. Okay. So you. <laughs> she helped you a lot. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I think I'd say thanks. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So you can team up with either Sophie or Ross. Well, that's me. Sophie or Ross. To name five movies in 60 seconds. You can either give the clues or guess the movies. You just can't say any of the words that are in the movie title. Who, who do you want to partner with? Me or Sophie? Sophie. Uh, <laughs> okay. Okay. Do you want to give the clues or guess the or the guess the film? Uh, I'd rather guess the, the movie. Okay. So I'll give you the clues. We have 60 seconds. Okay. Okay, coming close. Oh, come on. Coming close. He, he chose these films, so if we fuck up, blame Ross. <laughs> okay. I didn't even see these films. One minute on the clock, okay? okay Are you great. ready? Are you ready? Okay. Three, two, one, go. Okay, it's Chris Nolan's Batman film. Uh, Batman Begins? No, no, it's not light. It's when it's not light oh, out. Oh, Dark Knight? Okay, perfect. Okay. Um, it's the film where five kids are like walking on a railroad. Oh, uh. It's also a song. Train spotting? No. Uh -huh. All right. Um, the little yellow guy who lives under the sea. A cartoon. Oh, uh, Nemo. No, no, cartoon. Little yellow guy. He's oh, a, uh, SpongeBob. Yeah. Now it's the film that just came out. SpongeBob the movie. Uh, SpongeBob. Thirty uh, seconds left. All right. No, no. no. Uh, um, Jennifer Aniston and Vince Vaughn in this film. It's not when you get together. It's what happens when you don't want to be a couple anymore. You. Uh, divorce. No, no, no. You're uh, just a couple. You're not married. So what happens? Red. Uh, your friends? No, no, no. But what? Ha I'm gonna. I'm gonna do this to you because I don't want to be with you anymore. We're gonna. We're going to. Uh, um. Okay. Uh, it's the. Seconds. It's the little white rat that talks. Ratatouille? No, no, no. Little no. white rat. He oh. lives with the family. On. You said the word. I'm sorry. No, I didn't. Oh shoot. Yes, I did. Just do a little. Okay. Oh, okay. Um. Ah. Oh. <laughs> These were the hardest films. Blame Ross. Blame Ross. Blame Ross. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm about sorry. That. Those were really hard. Very well done. Thank you so much. Great job. Great thank job. you. All What's right. your name? Charles. Charles, yes. What was your name? Ed. All right, thank you for playing. All right, thank you. So there we go. He got to the final round. Unfortunately, he failed. You picked really hard films. What? Gorillas in the Mist? <laughs> why did that, why was that the first? Ross is like, I'm going to write a list of films. Let's do the hardest movie. Oh, this guy's on his own. This guy's on his own. Okay. Okay. Do you want to play movie trivia? You could potentially win five dollars off your next ticket. Movie what trivia. Movie trivia. Oh sure. Yeah. Ah, okay. Woo. You, you What's your it? name? Shane. Hi, Shane. How's, how's your movie trivia? How is it? Pretty good. Yeah. Okay. Okay. <laughs> good. 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 <laughs> That's the only requirement. Yeah. <laughs> Basically, it's five questions, five minutes, and you can potentially win a five-dollar gift card off your next AMC ticket. Okay. Are you ready? The first question is true or false. Gotcha. Jason Siegel wrote and directed Forgetting Sarah Marshall. False. Do you know why? I believe he wrote it, but I don't think he directed it. You just nailed that question. That was verbatim what we wrote. Great job. Okay, round two. <laughs> That's multiple choice. Okay. Okay. Which science fiction film from 1982 is an adaption of the 1968 novel Do Androids Dream of Electric Sheep? Blade Runner. He didn't even need the multiple choice. That is amazing. <laughs> okay, this is a quote. So I'm going to quote a film. You're going to tell me what film that's from. Okay, you ready? Yeah. Okay. You're probably going to know this one too. Okay. She knew that question. Snakes? Why did it have to be snakes? Uh, it's a Raiders Lost Ark. Oh my God. Congratulations. Okay. Amazing. All right, deal player. Number four is quite tough. This one's a tough one. Okay. Do you know the concept of before and after? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Carl challenges himself to stop saying no for an entire year, while an alien living among us is forced to reveal his amazing powers in order to save the world. <laughs> oh my god. Can you repeat it? I can repeat it. Okay. <laughs> Carl challenges himself to stop saying no for an entire year, while an alien living among us is forced to reveal his amazing powers in order to save the world. They're both relatively new films. I'll give you that. I, uh, okay, I think I know the first one. Talk it out, talk it out. Yeah, talk it out. Oh, okay. The first one sounds like Yes Man. Okay. We're not going to give anything away? But, okay. Just ignore my whole reaction just then. <laughs> it should be Man Something. 
I, I just can't think of it. I'm sorry. That's Don't okay. worry. Can I just pick a random guess just for fun? Uh, sure. Uh, yes, man up. <laughs> <laughs> Almost. Almost. Like he just fly up because he was Superman. It was Man of Steel. Yes, Man of Steel. Yes, Man oh, of Steel. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay, it's okay. We'll that now, right? No, no, no. no, no. no, no. We're at uncensored. Okay. <laughs> so okay. this is how you win. You've got 60 seconds to team up with one of us two, whoever you choose, and we've got to get us to guess five films in 60 seconds. Okay. So do you want to play with Ra? Me? Yeah. Oh, gosh. <laughs> How do I know you're rooting for me then? I'm so rooting for you. I promise. Keep coming close. All right. So you've got one minute on the clock. Are you ready? Yeah. Three, two, one, go. This film was just at the Oscars. It stars Miles Teller. He's a drummer in a drumming school, and his teacher hates on him. It's yes. It's something you get when you're in a, in a car and you move your head too fast. Whiplash. Yes, correct. Yeah. Okay. Um, the circle of life. That's the whip. Simba. Uh, Lion King? Correct. Two. Okay, it's um, um, Bill Murray, uh, Dan Aykroyd. They're shooting all Ghost the Ghostbusters. Yeah, three. Okay, um, he's a little. Uh, Thirty seconds. Oh my gosh, what this guy? Right, um, Peter Pan. It's the guy who's against him, the evil guy. Captain Hook. All right, just the last word. Hook. Yes, correct. Okay, this, this starts Cameron Diaz, Ben Stiller. She has stuff in her Something hair. Something about Mary. Correct. Was that five? You got five. Woo! You win. <laughs> Woo! That's your five dollar gift card. Awesome. Congratulations. That was fun. I, I love that. Nice to meet you. Good Thank, to meet you guys. Thank you. Thank you. Nice to meet you. Thanks. Good job. Have right, a good thanks. one. Bye bye. <laughs> yes! I can. Definitely. Absolutely. Both of you, you want to play against each other? You, want to you can play against each other. Yeah, you can play. I'll watch you play. You're going to play as a team? We'll play together. Okay. okay. All right. What's your name? Carlton. What's your name? Latoya. Nice to meet you. What's your favorite film? Godfather. No, I don't know. I'll pick The Lion King. <laughs> Fair enough. Okay, that's that fine. That's totally a good film. Okay. Good option. So the first question is true or false. So it's pretty easy. You've got you've got one chance. So if you get one wrong, that's fine. We'll we'll move on. But only one chance. One chance to get one wrong. If you get two wrong, you're out of here. Okay. But you have a lifeline, and you can ask anyone on the street. Okay. So the first question is true or false. Trainwreck was the first film by Judd Apatow, not written by him. True. It's correct. Correct. One okay. point. The second round is multiple choice, so it's a little bit harder. Okay. How many different hairstyles did Reese Witherspoon wear for her role as Elle Woods in Legally Blonde? Oh my God. Was it five, 23, or 40? It's between 23 and 40. It's definitely yeah. not five. I would say 23. I'll, I'll go with the 23. What's your final answer? Final answer. That's wrong. It's 40 different hairstyles. 40 hairstyles. Oh, it's a, it's that's, a comedy. That's so many. How yeah. ridiculous so is many. that? That's more than I've had in my life. Yeah. I can't even think of 40 hairstyles. <laughs> but that's okay. okay. We can move on to the next question. Okay, so this is Synonym Cinema. Brawl Group, 1999. Brawl Group, 1999. Fight Club. You got it. Nailed it. Congratulations. Okay. So now the fourth question. Now we have to do Fight Club. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> now we have to have a fight. That's the fourth round. Oh. <laughs> I'll be bad <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so this one is before and after. A news reporter lives the same day over and over again while a climatologist races across the country to save his son as a global superstorm wreaks havoc on the planet. Crap, I know the movies and the I don't know the new, the, the news one with the person living... Isn't that one with um, Sandler and Demi something? The news Similar reporter? Concept? Oh, no, no but I it's a news reporter. She's not a news reporter. Right, okay, so it's uh, Groundhog Day. There you go, you're going straight away. Yeah, yeah. The second film, are you having trouble with it? What was it again? It was, while a climatologist races across the country to save his son as a global superstorm wreaks havoc on the planet. I've seen that movie and I don't know what it's called. What was the first one? Uh, a Groundhog Day? Yes. So something day. It's something day because it's a climate movie. Uh, <laughs> Saving his son. Climb, it's like, it's not, not independent, independent day. day. No. It's not independent. Choose wisely. Yes, choose wisely. Someone who lives in an Obama office, which I don't, I don't know. know how to do it. I don't know. Well, 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 these well, guys are talking well, a lot. These guys? These guys? So when you stop someone, be like, hey, do you know movies? <laughs> Question for you. Have you seen, okay, climate change movie, right? Okay, so do you know this film? It says, this is the plot of it. A climatologist races across, across the country to save his son as a global superstorm wreaks havoc on the planet. It starts with day. 
Oh, no. I... I... Oh. Do you guys know movies? Do you know movies? Do you know movies? Do you know movies? Do you know movies? No. <laughs> he just... A whole crowd oh just shouted out. I want to say, like, do we look weird? Like, we have a microphone. Everyone's passing us by. They won't even make eye contact. Do you know movies? Do you know movies? Oh, excuse me. We have plenty of trivia. Give me the lifeline. Yeah. Movie trivia. Movie, Movie trivia. trivia. You're their lifeline. <laughs> okay. No, no pressure. All the pressure. <laughs> so we're going to give you a plot of a film. And you just have to you tell us the, the title. A climatologist races across the country to save his son as a global superstorm wreaks havoc on the planet. The day Star after tomorrow. Yeah! yeah. yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. There we go. So yeah. the answer is this? I'm just happy we were acknowledged more than anything. I, know, I thought we were like ghosts. <laughs> I was like, people no are not even looking at us. So, the full so answer now the full, is, answer would the full answer would be. Groundhog Day and after tomorrow. Yeah. Okay. Groundhog Day after Groundhog tomorrow. Groundhog Day after tomorrow. Yeah. Okay. There you go. For the final round. The final round is basically like the all right. <laughs> That's the final round. <laughs> Can you guess what that sound is? Can, a horn. A car you, horn. Specifically. Dismantle his horn. <laughs> basically, you're gonna play with Ross. Okay. You can either give the clues or guess the film. Oh, we have to you, decide. Do you want to guess the movie based on the clues, or you want to give the clues? You can give me the clues. I'm pretty good at it. You need five. Uh, you need to guess five in sixty seconds. You want me to give you the clues? All right, you're gonna get. Okay. Yeah. Okay. okay. You gotta do five in sixty seconds. Five in sixty seconds. So if we miss one, we just keep going. Exactly. You can pass. You can pass. Okay. Ready? On your mark. Get set. Go. Okay, so it's a film. Uh, it's a rock band, a rock magazine. The kid is. Oh, that's a hard film. Okay, the, the lick the wallpaper and they taste it and they're in, they're in a big, huge warehouse where they make candy and it's a guy's... The yeah, what's the, what's the guy's name? Willy Wonka. One, okay. <laughs> um, Seth Rogen and uh, some girl and he gets her pregnant and then they're pregnant. So Knocked they're, up. Okay, yeah. okay. Three more. Um, 34 seconds. Okay. <laughs> uh, Lil Macaulay Culkin is, is in... Is, is in oh, yeah, there you go. And uh, this one. Matrix. Matrix. Oh, we need one more. We have 25 seconds. Okay. Um, Steve Carell has never had sex. 40-year-old. Woo! Yeah. All right. You yeah. did it. High five. Okay, we'll win it today. So you got five dollars off your next AMC gift uh, ticket. Do you go to the movies often? Yeah. <laughs> There's your five dollar. Make sure it's awesome. in there. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. you guys were great. Yeah. Congratulations. I think I just burped on the. Congratulations. On the podcast. You win five dollars. Would you guys want to play movie trivia with five dollars? Yeah. Yeah. You can play you can against play each other or as a team. Oh, I'm gonna lose. Should we play as a team? Sure. Yeah, let's play as yeah, let's okay. play. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. So we've had like a million people say no to us. Okay. I don't know why. Okay. The first question is pretty easy, it's true or false. I just wanted to tell you that. I just wanted to I just having some conversation. Okay. What, what are your your name? What are your names? I'm Rebecca. I'm Brian. Nice Ross. to meet you. Nice to meet you. Sophie. I'll wait. By the way, before we start, you have um, one life and one lifeline, so you can ask anyone on the street. So the first question is true or false? Okay. Pretty easy. Steven Spielberg has never been any in, in any of his films. What do you I can't think of any. I don't even know what he looks like, so I would say <laughs> yeah. no. He's got a beard and he wears a hat. Yeah. And glasses. Yeah. That's about it. I feel like... And he was not E.T., by the way. Yeah. I'm going to say... I'm going to say false, because I feel like a lot of other people are in their movies, so like it's maybe his thing. He's like, I'm not in my own <laughs> That's be true. So, yeah, so true. So, oh, yeah, so true. Right, so true, he's never been in a movie. It's false. Wait. He's been in Jaws, Indiana Jones, and the Temple of Doom. You've just got no lives left now. I feel like now we're set up. Right. <laughs> Hopefully it gets easier. The next one is multiple choice. Oh, man. In The Big Lebowski. Have you seen it? Yes. Okay. The dude says the word man how many times? Is it A, 231 times, B, 147 times, or C, 65 times? All right. Well, I'm comfortable that it's more than 65 times. That seems like a small amount. And 200 whatever sounds too, like too many. 231. 231 sounds like too many times. So I'll go with the middle option. Which was? 127. 147. 147. Final answer. Yes. Correct. Yes. 1.5 times a minute, he said 1. it. 1.5 times a minute. That's a lot that's, of times. That's, that's a lot of times. Ridiculous. Okay. How, well, how good are you at film quotes? If I, if I said a quote, would you get it? I hope so. You don't well, have a choice. It, <laughs> the quote is, we're all pretty bizarre. Some of us are just better at hiding it. From 1985. From 1985. 
We're all pretty bizarre. Some of us are just better at hiding it. You can talk it out. We won't take I anything. Have no clue. <laughs> I have no we, we, can, we can give you the actor who said the line. Yeah. Oh, yes. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yes. <laughs> she didn't know. It's Emilio it's Estevez. Emilio Estevez. And he plays. Oh, uh. Then it's uh, Breakfast Club. Correct. Do we make it too easy? Yes. Never mind. No, I mean, that Good could job. have been yeah. any Emilio of this film where he's yes. pretty bizarre. It Mighty Ducks, I know that. Yes. <laughs> okay. So, fourth question. Are you ready? Right. We're going to give you two plot lines of okay. two different movies. They will combine with one word. A janitor from a Los Angeles radio station goes on a journey in hopes to find his parents. And Francis falls in love with her camp's dance teacher while on a summer holiday with her family. Oh, well, the second one is definitely what? the movie I... we just watched. <laughs> Come on, Brian. Dirty <laughs> Dancing? Put Jamie in a corner. Oh, Dirty Dancing. Okay. okay. So then the first one has to end in dirty. Is what I would get. No, no, no. Oh, starts. The first, yeah. the first one has to end in dirty. So that's the second well, film. Can you give it one more time? Okay. A janitor from a Los Angeles radio station goes on a journey in hopes to find his parents. We will say, though, that... It's, it, sh it shares a sound. It's not the full word. It's not the entire word that it shares. Oh, oh okay. Joe Dirty Dancing. Boom! Yeah. There you go. That's all we needed. <laughs> That's yeah. all you needed. all we needed. To Great. The why. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> there you go. So, the final so round. I reached the final round. All right. And we have one lifeline. It doesn't even matter now. Yeah. You, you, you know, reached you it. Final, you don't get the lifeline in the final round. All right, cool. It's, uh... So basically, this is like heads up. So we're going to give you a list of 10 films. You can either give, uh, and you're playing with one of us, whoever you choose. Uh, we don't care. Okay. You can either give us the clues to the film, or you can guess the film, and one of us will give you the clues. Obviously, you can't say any of the words in the title. You need to guess five in 60 seconds. All right, so we can either give you the clues. Or guess them. All right, and we're, we're not playing with each other. We're playing with one of you guys. We should do that. You should play with each other. You can play with, each, play other, with each other, if that helps, right. because you know each other. Let's do that, okay. But I feel like if I look at one, and I don't know what the movie is, then we're just screwed. Yeah, so, yeah, so, so I'll, you want to give... That's fair enough. enough. Okay, cool. All list. right. So five and sixty seconds. Get, so, so it's the film title. Yes. yes. Film title. No can actor. Say any of the words. You can say anything but the title words. Oh, we, we got this. This is in the bag. Okay. This is really easy. Uh, Three, I, two, one, go. All right. Um, we don't have to go in order, right? No. All anything, right. Anything. Dorothy. Wizard of Oz. Tom Cruise when his parents leave and he does the dance with his underwear. Uh, no. Big. That's also on there. Different guy. <laughs> but good we'll we'll job. Different guy. <laughs> um, my favorite um, Tom Hanks movie where he runs. Forrest Gump. Um. This is Woody Allen's movie about the city you studied abroad in with Owen Wilson. Paris. Midnight in Paris. Got it. Um, Tom Hanks and Med Ryan with email. You got mail. Do we oh. give you that? It's got mail in it. Try again. Oh, try again. Um, 30 seconds. It right. is. Oh, that's on me. Oh, um, big mistake. Huge. <laughs> with um, Richard Gere and the other one. Pretty woman. Woo! Woo! Big mistake. Huge. That's, that's when she's like, big that's mistake. A, that's the line from the movie. <laughs> Was it? Congratulations. Congratulations. Tom, Tom Cruise. Risky yeah. business. I'm trying to give you risky business. Tom Cruise. Tom Cruise. Tom Cruise, not Tom Hanks. But you said Tom Hanks. I think uh, I said Tom I Cruise. Said Tom, I, I think he said Tom Cruise. Yeah. And you just guessed <laughs> the difference. <laughs> Sorry, I don't mean Tom Cruise. But it worked because it's on the list. Yeah, you got it. <laughs> Yay. Thank you. High five. High five. So we'll give you the card. <laughs> awesome, guys. Good luck. Good luck. Thank good luck. you. Nice to meet Thank you guys. You. Thanks for playing. Thank you. Bye. Have a good night. All right, good luck. Thank you. Bye. Hi guys, thanks for listening to the very first episode of the Untitled Quiz Show. We'll be posting weekly, so make sure to subscribe so you don't miss the next episode, and follow us on Twitter at Untitled Quiz to see what we're up to. And if you have the time, we'd absolutely love if you could give us a quick review on iTunes. We'd really appreciate all the feedback you guys could offer, and if we like what you say, then maybe we'll give you a quick shout-out at the end of the next episode. And lastly, just a big shout-out to everyone who took part in the quiz. It was a lot of fun playing with you all, so uh, thanks a lot. Bye-bye.